Hello folks and welcome. So I have, um, sorry about that, I have a video here on uh, Bodhi Linux today. I want to give you a tour and overview of that system. I'm going to first start with uh, DistroWatch, then I'll move on to Terminal, give you um, information about the system, and then I'm going to give you the tour and overview. So welcome folks. Um, none of my videos are under two minutes, but they all have chapters or timelines on them. So welcome folks. Let's uh, start with the web browser and I'll go over to DistroWatch. You can also find a link to DistroWatch on my YouTube site. Let me scale that back a little bit if you don't mind. And uh, I will go to uh, 47 is what they have listed here on DistroWatch for this distribution. And I'm actually going to click on the uh, home page so I'll let you see what version that I also am using for this video. Let me resize that up a little bit. Um, if you're curious about what I'm kind of doing, I'll talk about that when I get into the file manager because it does it the exact same way. And uh, anyways, this is uh, Bothe or Bothe Linux, uh, Debian Ubuntu based out of the USA. The desktop is uh, Moxa or Moxa Enlightenment. They offer a live medium. You can test drive it. Netbooks and I'll let you see what version I'm using. I'm using the standard release and the minimal base. Now I'm going to talk about the software I added to this distribution so I can bring you this video. One is Simple Screen Recorder. The other one is VLC and G-Thumb so I can uh, show you some thumbnails uh, rather easily in the file manager when I get that open. And um, that's just some software that I chose to install. But you can see the minimal base uh, install is fairly small footprint. So that's what I used to install this thing. It does open in a fairly decent uh, um, a live mode to uh, to play with it uh, but in general this is an installed copy just wanted to point that out before I get going this is not a virtual machine and I'm not running this off the thumbnail this is a physically installed version so let's get this out of the way and I will give you NeoFetch and also INXI at the same time why not I'll just give it to you both. We're just going to concentrate on the top lines. So um, that's the version of this OS. You can see the kernel. You can also see that I'm running this in 3840 by 2160, but I am working in a mixed scaling environment. So some things will appear large and small at the same time. The uh, DE or desktop environment is Enlightenment, and the window manager is uh, Moxa or Moxa. Other than that, don't read too much into the CPU, GPU, or memory. I use these machines for other things. Now you can uh, see the uh, distro here is based off of Ubuntu. LTS is long-term support, so Focal Fossa. Now I'm going to close this box. And let's take you on a tour and overview. Again, this is a tour and overview. So over here you have your four, uh, four workspaces. You can also click in here, and there's some shortcuts for you. And then this nice little clock in the left corner uh, is also configurable with like a digital clock. If you want to change that, it's fairly quick. And you can see some of the other options that are right here. And now I'm going to hit close and close. All right, so that's their standard wallpaper. And let's start at the bottom menu down here and walk you through this fairly quickly. Under Applications, you've got LeafPad is a uh, text editor, Preferences, Language Support, Monitor. Under Graphics, I added GThumb. This is what came installed. The Internet is a Chromium Web Browser. Sound and Video, I added both Simple Screen and VLC. So all you get is Pulse Audio, audio under that uh, Minimalist install that I pointed out. And then I'll take you over to the Bodhi App Center and Synaptic and uh, let you see both. So. I'm going to resize this again my way. I will show you how to do that. They even show you the uh, particular command doing this out of um, your, um, your, um, your terminal. Okay, so there you have it if you're looking for stuff like that. And um, I will close this box. Again, I'm going to resize the text, and I'll show you that trick a little bit later. This is just Chromium web browser. Let's open up Synaptic. Again, it can be found under System Tools, Synaptic Package Manager. 
and I will more than likely going to have to read some of this off to you because the screen may be too small for some folks. Uh, but Synaptic Package Manager, uh, here's the about. And um, that's the Debian logo if you're curious. Uh, where's the uh, software coming from? Our repos or repositories? I'll pull that off to the side and hopefully you can see this. Um, that says uh, packages uh, bodilinux.com and then ubuntu.com for most of the stuff. You can always, on my all of my videos, have timelines or chapters also, so you can hit pause and reverse. And also, if you don't want to subscribe, you can always bookmark my YouTube site also. Anyways, I'm going to read you that number down here in the lower left-hand corner. It says 79,709 packages are listed. Pieces of software or applications. 1,128 are installed. I installed three pieces of software. Simple screen recorder, VLC, and I also installed um, the G-Thumb. I installed VLC through Terminal and the other two through Synaptic Package Manager. Pretty simple to look for stuff. You can just do searches. Once you find something, mark it for installation and hit apply. If it requires more packages, it'll tell you that before you continue. All right. <clears throat> Let me finish up the menu. <clears throat> Pardon me. Stopped at Synaptic. There's help. Advanced network configuration, bulk rename, terminology. Thunar, I'll open up a little bit later when I get into the panel. And then uh, places, um, shortcut to your home folder, desktop, quick launcher. Take a screenshot, always a good idea if you're making system changes. And uh, also, um, you can also read um, some of the information that I gave you out of terminal on those two commands in here. We have a lots of little different things we can do in here. Okay, and the wallpaper is really just one standard wallpaper currently. I did bring in another folder though as a demo for you. That's mine actually. So you will not have that folder. That's what I'm getting at. Under system, um, you have lock, log out, suspend, hibernate, reboot, and power off. The Chromium web browser I've already opened, a uh, terminal I've already opened, and now I'm going to open up Thunar, the file manager. So I have unusually large icons. You probably are going, wow, okay, that's strange. Uh, actually, it's not. I will resize this to normal if you like. So I'm going to first get rid of the uh, about, but uh, this is Thunar, and I'm going to read you the version number. If it's too small, it's 1.8.14. Now I'm going to hit close. Now I'm going to resize these on the fly. And I did, I'm doing the exact same thing as I did in the web browser. I'm holding down my control key with my left hand. While holding the control key, I'm using my computer mouse to scroll with. Okay. The behavior for this file manager, um, not yours, the file manager, is set for double click to activate items. An item would be a file or a folder. That's my preferred setting, actually, on all of my file managers. So under pictures, I brought in a wallpapers folder. Just to give you an example, you can bring in your own wallpapers, pictures of your kids, uh, nature, um, your own wallpaper, that kind of thing. And uh, I am using not ePhoto, but I'm using GThumb to uh, give you the, um, well, the particular ones here. Now I can cycle through these just to let you see that I have different kind of wallpaper. All I'm doing is using the scroll wheel on my mouse to, uh, to give you that example without moving my mouse. Uh, anyways, uh, and you can also resize the icons my way, or you can do it the old-fashioned way if you like. Uh, click the zoom in and out in plus, 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 or, or as some people call it, control negative, negative, uh, that kind of thing. So if you find yourself, uh, let me click in here for a second to resize. So if you find um, a photo, um, let's say um, like that weird-looking wallpaper, it's pretty easy. Right-click, set as wallpaper. Uh, this is one of mine, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of mine. Let me hit properties on this. Yeah, that one's taken with an iPhone 12. So if I wanted that as wallpaper, I would just uh, set that as wallpaper. If you're curious to see what that is, it's just a coastline. So anyways, pretty simple to do. Um, and I collect all kinds of weird wallpapers. I got that one from wallpaperswide.com. Uh, you can get wallpapers from a lot of places. And, you, of course, you can bring in your own digital photos and make it into wallpaper or desktop backgrounds. All right, let's move on. So, again, this is um, Thunar, your file manager. 
very versatile. Where did I stop? I stopped off down here. So let me start with the icons at least, and then I'll show you that you can actually move these around rather easily. So you got your power button, your suspend, your lock, your reboot, your hibernate, that kind of stuff, cancel. And uh, the next icon in line is um, notifications and uh, battery information I'm not using, clipboard, um, volume thing, right click, also mixer. Uh, simple screen recorder is red because I'm recording and then the Wi-Fi thing. And then if you click on the panel bar, you can also move the gadgets around. You can see them kind of highlight and you can start dragging them around. And I'm going to hit stop and then I'm going to right click again and hit contents. So if I wanted a clock really similar to the one in the left corner down here at the bottom, I would just uh, activate that and hit add gadget. And there's my clock with the calendar on it. Just giving you some examples of stuff you can do here. So uh, clicking on the screen, you got a bunch of shortcuts. And uh, again, right clicking on the uh, panel bar, you got some options in here too. I think I'm pretty much done, folks. Again, don't forget, uh, if you uh, didn't want to see this in one session, you can always bookmark my um, YouTube site or better yet, subscribe. That way you can watch this in multiple sessions. Thank you so much for watching and you folks have a wonderful day.